Hi there, Booktube. My name is Nathan, and this is the Rambling Reviewer, uh, so-called because I tend to ramble a lot. And as I always say in this video, I am hoping to not ramble so much, both because I think I can possibly keep it under 10 minutes, and also because I need to get some reading done tonight. I have not read at all today. Um... I worked, and then I spent way too much time on uh, the New World November uh, Voxer group talking about uh, the thing and Star Trek and a bunch of other interesting uh, topics. And I just watched um, the uh, TBR videos from Sean D. Stanfast for the first week of New World's November, and also the TBR video from... Uh, from Scott and Becky over at uh, the Bookish Brian's of their TBR of the first world of New World November, the first week of New World November. Um, and this this video is that I, I, I want to talk to you about my uh, my TBR for the first week of New World November. New World's November. Um, for those who don't know, New World's November is an event that is occurring in November with the goal being to read science fiction in short form, uh, preferably uh, less than 250 pages. And there are four weeks, um, each each week having its own, its own category. Uh, week one is terrestrial, week two is extraterrestrial, anything outside of Earth. Week three is classic, anything before 1965. And week four is AI and robot, self-explanatory. Um, now I have already created a little, uh, potential TBR list, uh, but I've moved some stuff around and I have, uh, gone from my initial 14 list down to my, my, no, I definitely want to read these things, set, list of seven. So my goal is to read at least one story each day alongside a longer work and then everything else I'll be reading in November, mostly nonfiction November stuff. And, uh, if I can, read more, two stories a day, um, alongside everything else. So, this is just the, the most basic, like, this is what I want to read. Um, first of all, the, the one longer work that I am certain that I want to read for no Newell's November is Childhood End. By Arthur C. Clarke. And actually, I have another copy of this. I forgot to grab it. So, comparison. Um, Childhood End is a uh, book I have already read in the past, so this is a reread. Um, I love this book. I was already planning on probably reading this, uh, but then I found out that Becky over at uh, the Bookish Bryant's is has been, uh, uh, pushed into reading this by Scott. So, uh, I definitely want to jump in and read along with them. Or her, rather. I think, I think, I think this, it's only her who is reading this. Uh, I believe Sean has also, uh, said that he might read, might read it. Um, so, the more the merrier. Now, the other definite ones I have are, uh, first off, a few stories from this. This is uh, the Science Fiction Hall of Fame, uh, Volume 2A, uh, edited by Ben Bova. Yes, Ben Bova. Um, this is a collection of science fiction novellas. And I actually realized that, like, four of the stories I have listed down are out of here. So they're all kind of longer stories anyways. The ones I have uh, noted down, though, is uh, Who Goes There by John uh, Debu Campbell. This is the uh, inspiration for the movie uh, The Thing. There we go. The Thing and also the earlier uh, movie The Thing from Another World. Um... And I know uh, most people in this uh, event have probably already read this story. It's a very famous science fiction story. 
I know particularly uh, Brandy over the book Galactic has read and raved about the um, extended version of the story called Frozen Hell. I will I will be reading this version, which is the uh, original version, because it's what I have, uh, and I don't want to go ahead and buy Frozen Hell uh, when I have several other books I already need to buy. Um, but if I enjoy it, I which I probably will, I'll go ahead probably and uh, and buy that um, next, and then uh, get to uh, talk about that next November. Uh, the other stories I'm planning on reading uh, out of this volume are Nerves by Lester Del Rey, which I know nothing about, so I have nothing to say about it, and so I will not ramble on about it. Um, Baby is Free by Fedor Sturgeon, and The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, which I know Scott will also be reading. Um, again, this is like a happy little accident. I had already planned on reading this. I promise I am not just trying to steal all of your, uh, reading ideas, Scott. Uh, I have read The Time Machine before, I believe. I say I believe because when I was younger, I read... It was either the, store, the Time Machine or it was a children's adaptation of, of The Time Machine. Or not an adaptation, a, uh, abridgment. Um, the problem is that The Time Machine is short anyways. It's only about 70 pages long, so... I actually... I'm surprised it's that short. I thought it was longer than that. Um, but I remember reading it. And because of how short it was, I think I probably had just read the read the actual story. I am very excited to be rereading that though. I also will be reading um some stories out of this. This is my movie tie-in cover of Stories of Your Life and Others. Although this is this title this is titled Arrival. Uh Stories of Your Life is uh the story of your life, sorry, is um was written by Ted Chang. Uh and it was adapted into the movie Arrival, I think in like twenty eighteen, nineteen I might be wrong about that. Um, I watched the movie originally. I watched it during New Worlds November, not with the intention to read a story. In fact, I didn't even know the story existed. I was just like watching uh, sci-fi movies, science fiction movies, um, because it was New Worlds November. And I also watched Ex Machina, which I really liked. Um, by, I think that was by Dennis Villeneuve. They made the Dune adaptation, I believe. Uh, I'll be wrong about that. But um, I enjoyed the movie, and then I found out that it was based on the story, and the story was conveniently in the big book of science fiction by Jeff and Ann Vandermeer, edited by them, rather. Uh, and I read... Uh, that story I read, uh, story of your life and uh, story of your life. I loved it, and then I checked out his second volume of short stories, Exhalation. I think I read all but one of the stories in that volume, uh, and really particularly liked uh, Life Cycle of, of of Software Objects, which I am planning on rereading as well. Um. I have not read every story, though, in this volume. I have only read uh, Story of Your Life and Hell is the Absence of God, both of which are very good. I will be rereading Story of Your Life this this year, as well as the Life Cycle of Software Objects. But I will, I will be reading Story of Your Life for New Worlds November. Or for Week 1 of New Worlds November. Um... On top of that, I will be reading two other stories out of here. I have written down Tower of Babylon and the Evolution of Human Science. However, I might read some of the other short stories in here instead, but I plan to read at least two other stories in here. So three stories in here. 
in total. And the final door I have list I have will be out of this massive book of HP Lovecraft stories. I have read a lot of HP Lovecraft stuff. I have not read all of his stuff, however. And probably one of the biggest stories I have not read by him is At the Mountains of Madness, uh, which follows a group of scientists who go into uh, go into the Arctic and who discover a um, the ruins of an ancient alien civilization. And um, my main reason for wanting to read this is because of the fact that it will both get a H.P. Lovecraft story that I have not read, even though I'm not particular. I like Lovecraft for his ideas, but I find that he, uh, the more I read other writers who do his ideas, the more I find that his particular writing style just doesn't flow, basically. I much prefer, like, Alphanon Blackwood, um, Arthur Machen, uh, whose writings I've not read as much of as Lovecraft, but whose writings are just more beautiful. Um, but I have not read As Amount of the Madness, and so I, I do hope to read that. Um, I have one other read that I have written down as a very possibly possible book that I might read. And that is Needle by Hal Clement, because alongside uh, New World's November, there is also an event going on in November, December, January, and maybe February? I need to double check about that. Um, which is Hal for the Holiday. Uh, the goal being to read science fiction works by uh, the writer Hal Clement. I have not read any of Hal Clement. Um, and so this will be my first exposure to his writing. Um, it is being run by uh, Brandy at the Poclastic, alongside uh, Scott Danielson, um, Stott at the Bookish Bryants, and, um, and Sean D. Standfast. Um, and, um, I am hopefully going to read Needle. Again, it's, it's a question of whether I will be able to get the book before then. If not, I will probably read it either in one of the subsequent weeks or in one of the subsequent months. Uh, I do have, though, a another Clement story picked out for the month, regardless. I have, uh, I found his book, Noise, at my library, which was his final book, po his final book written, and it was published, uh, posthumously. Uh, so I have that. Now, if I have extra time, then I will probably, uh, uh, read some more stories out of the Ted Chang volume, because I would really like to finish this by the end of the month. Or, I will, of course, go through and find more stories out of here that would fit the, uh, the week, the week's category. All in all, I, I know I will have uh, gotten several of the prompts, because alongside the category there are, uh, 13 prompts. Kind of like a scavenger hunt, a scavenger hunt, uh... To try to see if you can find more of these common themes and motifs and MacGuffins in the science fiction reading you're doing. I know I will uh, complete t uh, time travel. Uh, I know I will have completed um, Far Future, both from Time Machine, First Contact, from Strike for Life, um, Alien Archaeology from At the Mountains of Madness. Um, there might be some others. Uh, I'm sure Political would show up 
in one of these. Oh, uh, who go? No, that's not political. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe who goes there might have some psychological. No, there isn't a psychological. I'm saying I'm I'm confusing different uh, booktube events now. Um, either way, I I I, I imagine I'll get some other uh prompts completed. Now, on top of that, I'm also planning on watching a few movies in uh in the first week of November. Some adaptations. Uh, I will be rewatching. These are both rewatches, so not really very good for the extra credit because I've already done them in the past. But I plan to rewatch Arrival, uh, to go along with the story of your life. Uh, I don't have that on. I don't own that movie. I don't own a physical copy of it, so I can't show it. But I also plan to rewatch The Thing by uh, John Carpenter, which was the adaptation for Who Goes There. And I may also rewatch uh, The Thing from Another World, the uh, the 50s um, adaptation that this movie is based upon. Um, that's not certain, though. So that is my... my my TBR. Um, again, I may add new things. I may uh, especially add new things as other people's TBRs come out. Um, you know, FOMO uh, be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> so, but that seems to be what I will read at the moment. Uh, so if you, if you uh, have a if you are planning on re on joining for New Worlds November, do let me know, uh, and let me know what you will be what you will be reading. All right, now I need to go because I have gone over my time limit. Um, see, I have two problems. I have the problem of over talking, and I have the problem of talking too fast, and I'm trying hard t to. Uh, negate the first, the second problem, rather, um, where I speak slower and also don't say um as much and enunciate more. Um, problem is, is that kind of fills more time, uh, so I will have to figure out how to do this without taking up so much of your time and my time. But either way, it has been uh, great spending this time with you all. I hope you are having a lovely Sunday and that you are getting lots of reading done. Alright, bye booktube.